happy, you know, with their current plan, the changes that are happening. Perhaps maybe they, their doctors have opted out or their hospital or their providers opted out. Uh, perhaps maybe they're increased in maximum amount of pocket costs as well. Uh, maybe they're unhappy with the drug plan. Uh, so this is a great opportunity to go back. You know, we just got through AEP. We just got through a year. We had great increases all the way around. And uh, now it really is like a second AEP period. So go back to your Medicare Advantage beneficiaries and go ahead and conduct a Medicare review, go over the rights and options. We know that the future of Medicare Advantage plan is what? Less or more regulation? Well, it's not going to be less. It's going to be more regulations. <laughs> Excuse me. And then seniors tend to um, really disenroll from their Medicare Advantage plans. Once they start using it, once they start getting sick, they want to come out of it. The problem is at that particular time, unless they're subject to an SEP, they are stuck in that Medicare Advantage plan, and they will not be able to secure a Medicare supplement plan. By the way, when I say Medigap plan, it's synonymous. It means the same thing as a Medicare supplement plan. It's just a short kind of phrase to it, and I like the Medigap, to say Medigap better. And then, of course, we know that large Medicare Advantage insurers are preparing to sell Medicare Advantage assets. Why? Because a lot of times when carriers are not profitable, um, you know, they come out of a county, uh, they have to pay commissions, they have to pay claims, and you'll see that the county starts shifting around, and that's why every AEP you have to certify for your Medicare Advantage uh, agents. You know what you have to do, every single AEP, go through the AHIP training, learn the new counties, et cetera, uh, whereas with Medigap, they're covered 100% across 100% uh, of the United States. You know, they cover sea, sea to Shining Sea, coast to coast. They have that coverage. They can go to any doctor, any hospital, anywhere in the country. And so really this is a great time during the MADP to educate your prospects on the advantages of a Medigap plan. It's a great selling opportunity. Why? Because a Medigap plan is guaranteed renewable for life. That means when they secure a Medigap plan, that's it. They're done. They're finished. I mean, it's the last time they have to make this kind of a decision. They don't have to flip-flop around and wait until the annual enrollment period. Um, you know, and they're set. They're set for life. And I'll tell you four things that seniors want. They want stability. They want security. They want value, and they want freedom. Freedom to go to any doctor, any hospital. They don't want to be tied down to going to in-network doctors. The other thing I love about it, of course, there's no networks. There's no networks with Medigap plans. And, of course, nationwide coverage. In fact, the three plans I'm going to show you to sell all include a foreign travel emergency benefit as well as pay excess doctor charges. And I'll tell you what that is in a minute. But it's just wonderful to have that kind of freedom. And, you know, seniors, you know, they, they work their li all their lives. Uh, this is their last chapter in their life, and they want that stability. They don't want to be jumping around from plan to plan. Remember that with a Medigap plan, they have freedom to choose any doctor, any hospital, any specialist anywhere in the country accepts Medicare. And they don't need, you know, like a referral to go to any specialist either. And they also have freedoms to choose a standalone drug plan. Now, to make sure when, you, when these seniors go back to original Medicare and you sell them a Medigap plan, you will have to set them up with a standalone prescription drug coverage. Okay, if you are certified uh, to offer that, by all means, you can do that. Make sure you get your scope of appointment signed. <laughs> And if not, no worries. Just have them call 1-800-MEDICARE, 1-800-MEDICARE, or if they're computer savvy, they can go to Medicare.gov and it takes about 10 minutes for them to sign up for a Part D. Uh, the other thing they can do is check with their pharmacist. Their pharmacist sometimes has a good insight as to what plans they can have. Now, remember that with a Medigap plan, it's guaranteed renewable for life. They can choose any doctor, any hospital, any specialist. There's no networks, nationwide coverage. And, of course, Down American has high industry ratings. We're A-plus rated for 40-plus consecutive years. And, of course, no other company has been offering Medicare supplements longer than United American. And it's an interesting, an interesting point. Now, a lot of agents, they have an appointment with United American. They just understand the power and the company behind it. Um, and, you know, we've been doing this since Medicare was signed into law in 1965. And we even helped the federal government come up with the very first Medigap plans. So very, very powerful company behind you. In addition to that, of course, if you have a company direct contract, you will get lifetime level residuals with the company available to your family upon your passing. Uh, even if you decide to do something else, we're going to go ahead and pay your commissions. You are vested from day one. You know, prospects may not like the maximum, the new maximum amount of pocket uh, costs with their MA plans. 
you know, Med- uh, Medicare Advantage um, could be economical, right? There's some out there with zero premium. But I want you to write this down. A couple of things. One is no premium doesn't mean no cost. When you start using it, it's going to cost you out of money. It's going to cost you out, a lot of po- out of pocket money. And so because of the higher maximum amount of pockets. And so uh, in the long run, Medigap is going to be better for your clients. They're going to pay less and less money. Now, here's some averages in terms of the maximum amount of pocket costs. And I know, for example, I'm in Texas. You know, you can sign up, I guess, for one of those United Healthcare MAPD plans. Uh, first, you're going to have to pay a premium. I think it's like 78 or $72 a month. Uh, and then you can lower your maximum amount of pocket to $3,500. But let me just go ahead and plant the seed right now. You can sell an HDF plan here in Texas starting at $27 a month. That's what it starts in Texas, it's just to give you an example. And, you know, it's got a maximum amount of pocket of $2,240. So it's well below, you know, it's below the $3,500 mark. Plus, you get all the bells and whistles with Medigap and the freedoms that Medigap has. And, of course, uh, over 4.8 million seniors have been canceled from their plans. Now, folks, that's not secure to me. Um, and, and by the way, if your client ever receive a termination letter, that creates an SCP, a special election period, where they can switch over to a Medigap plan no matter how sick they are. So that's why you, ha- you want to be informed, right? So that that way if your client says, well, I had this plan and just got a termination letter, um, that, that creates an SCP and they can get a Medigap plan guarantee issued. Make sure and secure that letter because you're going to have to send it into underwriting uh, to new business because we have to have proof that, in fact, they have been canceled. And so, again, if they're canceled from the Medicare Advantage, that creates a period of time where you can uh, bring them over to uh, a Medigap plan. And what are the differences then? Well, we have the Medicare Advantage plans. You know you're going to have a lower premium, whereas with a Medigap plan, uh, you're going to have a higher premium because there's a premium cost to it. However, the overall cost for Medicare Advantage is going to be higher than a Medicare supplement. Medicare supplements cost uh, are going to be lower. And so Medicare Advantage plans, you might see that, hey, they have a lower premium. Some may come with additional benefits, uh, you know, but you have to go to in-network only. It's not guaranteed renewable. You know, if you're selling that Medicare Advantage plan, you cannot guarantee your client that they're going to have the same plan year after year. You can't do that because they're not standardized. Uh, and, And again, to me, um, that is not, um, you know, stable. Doctors may leave the network. Hospitals may leave the network. Carriers may pull out, leaving the senior without coverage, and worse off, leaving you without your renewals as well. So it's not good for the client. It's not good for you. So why do you do it? Well, because everybody's doing it, and I guess it's easier because you don't have to really sell it, right? It's no premium. That's one of the reasons. Number two is why are seniors then, buying these Medicare Advantage plans because we're not doing a good job at educating them I and we're kind of scared, we're kind of fearful. Hey, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't really know about these Medigap plans. And so make sure that you're signing up for my selling clients due to Medicare. I'm going to teach you from A to Z all the five steps in the selling process and how you're going to be more successful, how you're going to be perceived as a subject matter expert and ways that you can get in front of clients no cost ways and some ways that you'll have to invest in your business. So really, the one of the reasons, another another reason is that the lack of information. The seniors have a lack of information because think about it. And again, I'm not I'm not uh, putting down Medicare Advantage people. I think there's three different times where uh, a client is better off with a Medicare Advantage plan, uh, such as somebody under 65, somebody is dual eligible, dual eligible chronic condition. Uh, you know, you've got those uh, SNP plans out there. It's great. But other than that, you know, 95% of your clients are going to be better off with the Medigap plan. And so remember, uh, a Medicare supplement plan can actually take care of, we have a plan that will take care of all coinsurance deductibles and out-of-pocket costs and SDF plan. We'll get to that in a minute. And so let's talk about MA annual disenrollment period reminders, such as people enrolling that are enrolled in an MADP uh, PD plan, and that's simply an MA plan with the drug coverage, right, the Part D, they can automatically disenroll from an MAP plan by enrolling in a standalone prescription drug plan. That's how you can disenroll them. You don't have to have them contact their, you know, MA carrier 
uh, calling in 100 Medicare or doing anything like that. All they have to do, now keep in mind, this is for MAPD, MAPD. They, you can just enroll them in a standalone plan, and then that automatically disenrolls them. So remember, they can't have them both. They have to be out of that MA plan before prior to you, uh, the Medigap plan going effective. Make sure that they're, um, you know, keeping all of their termination or disenrollment information in a safe place. Okay, make sure that you're doing that. So remember that a person isn't automatically disenrolled now from an MA plan by enrolling them in a standalone plan. Now, now keep in mind, not going to run into this much, but sometimes you'll run into it where, where you know, a beneficiary just has the MA plan and separately they've enrolled for a separate standalone plan. So, um, you know, for those MA clients, they will have to contact their, um, you know, their, their um, MA carrier in order to be disenrolled, okay? And they can do that. They could also call 1-800-MEDICARE as well. Now, uh, make sure that you have full completed applications with replacements form, and you want to confirm on the application that they, in fact, intend to replace their current MA plan with a Medigap plan. And if the application, this question right here, on the replacement uh, plan is answered no, then the application is not going to be accepted. So. Uh, the point is that make sure a couple of, a couple of things. One is make sure that you're submitting your business through the IGO e app, which is super super simple. But if you're doing the paper app, um, make sure that that question gets answered no. And that is, do you intend to replace your current ME plan with a Medigap plan? Make sure I'm sorry. That make sure that question is answered. Yes, they do. Okay. Now the applicant must be off a Medicare Advantage plan prior to the effective date of the Medicare Supplement plan. And so a Medicare supplement policy holder who still has an MA plan in place on the policy effective date of the Medicare supplement plan is subject to rescission. In other words, they can't have them both. You've got to make sure that they are disenrolled from that MAPD plan and the MA plan by February the 14th. And they can do this by contacting their MA or MAPD um, carrier directly, uh, calling 1-800-MEDICARE, or enrolling in a standalone Part D plan for MAPD disen uh, disenrollments only, okay? And this constitutes a voluntary disenrollment. And so here we have where somebody willfully wants to get away from the MA plan and get a Medigap plan. They're, that I just took a snapshot of the application so you can see there uh, what you would put in. Make sure you fill everything out. Involuntary, this, uh, this applies to, for example, people that receive a termination letter uh, perhaps maybe they move from the uh, service area that creates an SCP as well, and so that would be involuntary as well. And that's uh, a snapshot of the application. Now let's get to the plans right here. The three plans I recommend you sell, folks, are the F plan, which is right here. That's the most comprehensive plan. Uh, you pay a premium. Everything is paid 100% uh, of the time. There's no, there's no deductibles, no co-insurance, no co-payments, nothing. Okay, the second plan you're going to sell is the G plan. It's the second option. With this G plan, the only thing they pay is the $183 Part B annual deductible. And once they pay that, essentially, this G plan converts into an F plan. And then you have the HDF plan or the F plus plan, as we call it up there in New York State. That plan, if you compare with the F plan, look at that. It, it covers the same thing, except it has this 2240 and I don't call it deductible, I call it a maximum out-of-pocket expense. Maximum out-of-pocket cost, okay? Why? Because in this instance, when they have a Medigap plan, the first payer is going to be original Medicare, right? The Part A hospital, Part B is the medical. Once that pays, then the Medigap plan is going to pick up whatever is remaining, and that's the responsibility of the client on the HDF or F plus plan. Now, Typically, clients are placing claims on the Part B. And so once that $183 is paid, it's an 80-20 split. So therefore, the client essentially is responsible for 20% up to $2,240. And that's how you explain that. Now, the reason that I recommend you sell these three plans here, the F, the G, and the HDF, or the F plus plan, is because all of these plans right here, these three plans, pay a foreign travel emergency benefit but not only that, it pays for excess doctor charges. 
And, uh, you know, I'll go more in depth in that uh, in my webinar today at 5 p.m., Medicare 101, which is brand new for this year. And that is, but basically, if the doctor doesn't accept assignment, they can legally charge up to 15% uh, of Medicare liable charges over and above and beyond what Medicare says this, uh, this uh, a service that you should charge for. Uh, and there's no limit to that. So that becomes very dangerous. Even in states, for example, like Pennsylvania, that legally they're not able to, you know, to uh, bill uh, or charge for excess doctor charges, Perhaps maybe the client is traveling. Maybe they're traveling to Florida, to Oklahoma, or to Texas. And at that point in time, if they end up in a hospital or a doctor that charges excess doctor charges, then that can become a big issue as well. So that's why I say these three plans right here, it's really what you want to sell. And so, for example, the HDF F Plus, kind of think of it mostly like an MA plan only with a lot of freedom. It has a very low monthly premium, low maximum amount of pocket cost, 2240 uh, which, by the way, they're hardly going to meet. I mean, they'd have to be in a hospital for 64 consecutive days in a row. Or you can sell the F and the G plan, uh, depending on their budget and their health. I recommend, for example, if you are uh, seeing somebody that's aging the Medicare, you know, and they're turning 65, you know, they have that Medigap open enrollment period where they can pick up a Medigap plan guarantee issued. Uh, let's say that uh, and you're seeing a couple and the wife has cancer. Don't mess around with that, folks. Just sell her a G or, or an F plan, and that way it's going to be better for that family. Obviously, if the husband is very healthy, then you're going to sell them an HDF plan or an F plus plan. And if you combine the, the two together, they're still going to save m much money, um, more than what industry standard is up there. And so why then does a Medigap plan offer you the most growth? Remember, there are 10,000 seniors turning 65 every day. This is a big segment of the population. Remember that you're not limited by a selling season, that you can sell uh, to new beneficiaries that are coming on Medicare. You can also sell to beneficiaries that have already have a Medigap plan. You know, if you're doing a review, just ask them, hey, what kind of plan do you have? Um, and you don't have to have a scope of appointment form. We are not managed by CMS, not like Medicare Advantage carriers. Uh, also, you can, again, you can sell all year round. We don't, we don't, you know, you don't have to have a scope of appointment form either. And so, of course, I showed you there we were A-plus rated for 40-plus consecutive years. And let's take a look at the service performance record. I think this is really cool and very, uh, very important that you show this and, and communicate this to your client because I hope you're not just selling on price, right, that you're selling on the value, what it is that you're selling, and that is that, you know, Look at the way that we process claims. We process claims in a little over two calendar days. That includes weekends, holidays, national catastrophe days, and and that's super fast. I don't think I, I know that there's not a carrier out there that processes claims that fast, but that's pretty quick. All policies drop down. All policies issued in a little over four calendar days. That includes weekends, holidays, national catastrophe days. Now, if you're doing it by paper, assuming that the paper went through. Assuming that they can read it, assuming you marked, you know, you, 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 dotted, you dotted all your dots, you marked all your T's, you got all the signatures, you got all the initials, you got all the compliance forms attached, and the, and the fax was readable, even though faxes are not 100% accurate, then it's going to be processed in a little over four calendar days. So I recommend you get, um, go through the IGO e application webinar and then submit your Medigap applications to the IGO. It's going to really help you eliminate a lot of errors and get paid faster. If you look up to the upper right-hand side, total amount of claims uh, transactions that we processed, uh, a little over 4.9 million. Of those, about 15,000 uh, are non up health transactions. That means that we, the majority of the claims we process are Medigap plans. And so that's great because we've been doing this for a long time, longest than any other carrier, so we know what we're doing. If you look at the bottom right-hand side, customer service calls, that's probably over a million calls right now that we're getting into the home office right here. As the name implies, you're an American company. We don't outsource this. It's not down there in Mexico or Tijuana or Costa Rica or Europe somewhere. Not that I have anything against there. I'm just saying that we have control of the span of business over here that this is the kind of carrier that has everything in-house. And as you know, when you have business going to other places, it's kind of hard to control that. And so the nice thing about our customer service center that handles your client, number one is 
we're going to take care of your client so you don't have to worry about it, right? It's not like property and casualty. You've got a claim. you got all these hassles. You've got a lot of account maintenance to do, uh, you know, to, to process with that. It's not like that with this. I mean, you can set this and forget it. And so uh, this is kind of nice because you're going to continue to get paid while we take care of your client for you. We're going to, we have 100% call service resolution. We don't have voicemail. Uh, and we answer 97.5% of those calls are answered in 30 seconds or less. That is phenomenal. That's a phenomenal uh, call experience for your client, and that's great. Now, let's take a look at the plans of what we sell uh, from a company standpoint. The majority of the plans we're selling, 64%, are HDF and F plus plans. Now, the second most popular is the F plan. That's about 29%. And then, you know, other plans, which is the G, and the N, we're selling those as well. But if you look at that, you know, the HDF is just such a fabulous um, plan, um, and, and it does a great service to your clients. So you can see what we're selling as a company. And so, you know, when you're presenting that HDF plan, you know, ask your homeowner, ask your beneficiary, you know, do you have a zero deductible on your auto insurance, on your homeowner's policy, or on major medical? So why in the world would you want to pay extra money for a Medigap plan? It doesn't make financial sense, especially if you're healthy, right? It just doesn't because you're not going to use all the benefits, so why give the premium to the carrier? If you look and compare again between the F plan and the HDF plan or F plus plan, Everything is the same except for that 2240. So once they pay that 2240, which is highly unlikely, then it's going to convert to an F plan that pays 100% of Medicare liable charges. So let me give you an example. Let's say you sold an HDF plan, assuming that your client paid uh, the very low Part B deductible. Every time that they go to the specialist or doctor, here's what's going to happen. They're going to go to the specialist. The average liable doctor visit is about $100. It's going to trigger a Part B claim. That's going to pay 80%, which is $80. What's remaining, folks? 20 bucks. $20. I mean, you can call it anything you want. You can call it a copay if you want. But in many cases, that's even less than most Medicare Advantage plans out there. Uh, and so that's pretty negotiable, right? That's easy to go ahead and budget for. And, of course, if they've reached the 2240 uh, maximum amount of pocket cost for the HDF, then they pay zero, zero out of pocket. And so let's take a look now at the national average monthly rates for the HDF F plus plan. You see from 2010 to 2016, the, those premiums have been uh, going steadily down. It's been going down and down and down. Well, why is that? Well, that's because we base our rates on claims experience, not the competition. And so for ex let me give you an example here. Let's say that you're meeting uh, – kind of moving away from Medicare Advantage uh, beneficiaries, but let's say you have a couple, just to give you an idea here, that have have had a Medigap plan. They've had it for numerous years, and, they're, you know, they're getting increases and stuff, and they finally think, gosh, we're not really using this. I wonder what we can do to save money. Well, you have something in your arsenal right there that you can help them save money and still have nice coverage. And so you, what you want to do is you want to take your pad out, list down what they're paying for the, uh, with the uh, Medigap plan through another carrier. Right under there, you're going to write down, you know, how much the premium, monthly premium is for the HDF or the F-plus plan. And then you're going to come up with a monthly premium savings. And that's powerful. And what you're going to do is you're going to get them a combined yearly savings for this plan. And in this case, look at this, it's over $3,000. And that's a lot of money, folks. Now, you can do a lot of things with this $3,000. You know, if you have a property and casualty outfit, then you can go ahead and make money to offer them your services. Remember, you're independent, right? So you can offer them those services. It's not a conflict of interest. Or maybe you have a dental plan through another carrier. Or maybe you have annuities. Or maybe you have, um, you know, uh, long-term care. Or maybe you might want to put some more business with United American because you know you're going to get paid for the life of that product. Put a final expense in place, 40 or 50 bucks in place. Put a cancer plan in place. Put a uh, critical illness in place, and they're still going to save money. And so this is a great, powerful example. And if you look at that $3,000, it doesn't look like much, but once you multiply that times 20, I mean, you're looking at a couple that's going to save about $60,000 in premium savings. 
I mean, even if you took out $10,000 for claims on that, they still have a whopping $50,000 left. It just doesn't make financial sense, you know? So put it another way, let's say that you went out there and you purchased a uh, curb TV, okay? And this curb TV was going to cost you twenty two forty, right? And so you you purchased that. You went to the cashier and you said, well, how much is is uh, warranty of some kind of insurance going to run me for this television set? It's curb TV. It's beautiful. I'm going to hang it on the wall. If it falls down, I want it paid for. And she says, no problem. Um, to cover a possible loss of your curb TV of twenty two forty, it's going to run you $1,476 per year. <laughs> would you do that? Of course not. You would leave the building like it was on fire, right? You would actually run. And so, folks, the $1,476 is an illustration over here. Many In many markets, it's a lot higher. But in this illustration is the difference between premium savings between the HDF plan and the F plan. And so you see here how then uh, that can be uh, it's very economical for somebody to get a HDF plan. Now look at this. I want to show you something here. Uh, if you, if, and these statistics, by the way, are taken from company data. And so if you look there, a 65 to 67-year-old, you know how much money they're spending out of their pocket outside of original Medicare? Look at this, $531. 85% of all beneficiaries spend $531. And again, that is well below the 2240 threshold. Again, they're not going to meet that 2240 unless they're in the hospital for a long time. You know what? If they're in a hospital for 64 consecutive days in a row, they were out here in Dallas somewhere on 635 in the crazy, you know, 121 tollway where people go 80 or 90 miles an hour and they're in intensive care unit. And uh, so um, that's not cheap, you know. Uh, that's the way they can meet the, <laughs> the 2240. And if you look at, you know, going up in age, look at the 73-plus-year-old. They're only spending $750 above what Medicare pays. So, again, below the 2240 threshold, it just makes financial sense. And so if you take a look at these savings in this example, look at this. Over, well, over $60,000, 61, over $61,000 of premium savings in this example alone. And that's incredible. Now, I'm going to show you a product here that is uh, exclusive to United American. It is not available in New York, New Jersey, uh, Minnesota, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire. Now, uh, that's because your state, there's something that your state didn't, didn't want to do, so we can do it. It's not because we don't want to have it up there. It's just due to state regulations. Now, however, if you are in New York, New Jersey, or any of those states, and you have a non-resident license, and for example, you're selling into Florida, into Texas, into California, Oklahoma, Louisiana, then you can take up the phone and offer this reserve fund annuity. What is this? It's basically a savings fund. It's a savings account that's going to guarantee your client a 3% interest. Hey, that's not bad, right? You try getting that at the bank. What does the bank give you? Less than half a half a percent? Um, you know, CDs now give you not even that. Half a percent maybe, 1%. Folks, this is going to give your client a 3% interest rate, they can open it up for as little, as little as $50 a month, they can put in up to uh, 2280, uh, 2280, I'm sorry, $4480, $4,480 they can put into this account, and it's going to be liquid money, so they can take out this money at any time, there's no penalties, there's no lock-in periods, you know, they're not locked in like a regular annuity, uh, and of course, just to be clear, they will have to buy a Medigap plan before you offer this, okay? You can't just sell this standalone. You can't just do that. They have to have purchase a G plan or an HDF plan. And, you know, so you see the plans right up there that you can sell. But obviously, we're only, I'm only recommending that you sell the HDF, the G, and the F. And, and the F doesn't need this, right, because everything is paid for in the F. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful plan. Obviously, um, this program is exclusive with United American Insurance Company. No other carrier has this. Now, we're giving so many bells and whistles away, we don't have room to pay commissions. However, I will submit to you uh, that it will pay you in the back end, in the long run, because your persistency is going to go up, simply because it's just a great program for them, and nobody has it. And, and so that's how you want to use that. 
Now we also have, you know, we can pivot to other products. I don't have time right now to get into all of our products, but just so you know, we have a fabulous juvenile whole life plan. It is absolutely wonderful. If you ever uh, saw the Gerber policy, this one beats it hands down. I mean, beats it in premium. It beats it in. It's got. It even has a um, a terminal illness rider on there that is no cost. It's got a great. Um, 4.5 forfeiture rate. It's just absolutely wonderful. They can put up to five grandkids on there. And the opening uh, question you want to ask, you know, when you're presenting your Medigap and doing your review, is say, hey, by the way, do you have any grandchildren? That's it. That's what you do. So anyway, look into those products. Hop on the webinar with Rick Andreola. We've got final expense. We have cancer coverage. I mean, if you're not selling cancer coverage, man, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I do this exercise when I, when I do when I go to live seminars. Incidentally, I'm going to have the schedule coming out here soon. We're going to have an aggressive schedule, so make sure to be get get out there because I only have sixty, you know, fifty nine minutes to share with you, and I have to talk really, really fast in order to get this information out. But uh, when we do the live uh, seminars, we have more time. I can meet you face to face. I can answer your questions more in depth and we're gonna have more time for training. But let me just tell you about this cancer plan. This is a fabulous cancer plan. Uh, you know, that with the statistics how they are, that uh, I think it's over 75% of all new uh, cancer diagnoses are hitting our seniors. Did you know that? 55 and above. One out of three female would be diagnosed with a form of cancer. One out of two male will be diagnosed with a form of cancer. What this is policy, you can sell up to $50,000 worth of lump sum uh, benefit upon the diagnosis of melanoma and cancer. They get it. The doctor doesn't get it. And, um, you know, only three questions are qualified. I mean, we don't even have a tobacco question. So if you like cigars and nicotine, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, <clears throat> three questions. Do you have HIV? Do you have cancer? And did your doctor schedule an appointment to, that says that you, might, you might have cancer? That's it. If they answer no, then you can put in the application. And so we're committed to grow with you folks. We have uh, incentives going on right now, and which I'll talk to you in a bit. Uh, we have, you know, take a look at that ad catalog. If you haven't been to United American, uh, you know, agent log on, make sure you're going on there because there's a lot of information in there, particularly the Medicare supplement training uh, with a bunch of documents in there that's going to help you. So. We're going to make sure that you have the right tools, but you're going to have to participate, obviously, in this success as well. We have a bunch of introductory offers to get you in the door. We have the fabulous, you know, accidental debt policy. I mean, we have an A and B chart, which we update you. You don't have to be an expert in Medicare. All you have to do is read. Now, I go more in depth with this tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. where I show you exactly how I do this and how I present this. Um, you know, we just have so many tools available for you. It's incredible. Now, we also have a PowerPoint presentation. If you're a PowerPoint person and you like the PowerPoint, simply go to the ad catalog. If it's, you know, approved in your state, just download it, plug in your name here, and that'll go through a little presentation as well. So, I, mean, I personally never used a PowerPoint because I knew the five steps in the selling process and I knew exactly what I needed to communicate and how to, you know, establish rapport or how to ask discovery questions, how to present options, et cetera. So, but that's up to you. Now, I told you I was going to go in depth a little bit more on, they call it certification, folks. I don't like that word certification. That's, that's above my pay grade <laughs> because when I think of certification, I think of a long, drooling process, you know, unless you have somebody else that's doing your work for you, which is the, <laughs> but the thing is, our certification, this is what it is. Just go through the one-hour webinar with Dave Oliver because we want to make sure to explain how to enter your information. Then you're going to take an eight-quiz, no-fail quiz. You cannot fail it. 48 hours later, the little icon, uh, icon IGOE application icon is going to be activated on your AL9 account. So if you're going to your uh, visits, you're going to your Medicare reviews, take your iPad with you or take your laptop with you. You will have to be connected to the Internet which you can have a hotspot if you want to, uh, or if not, not a problem, fill out a paper application, go back to your home office, and then enter the deal on the iGo e app. Isn't that easy? Super easy, folks. Um, 
this is going to save you a lot of hassle. You know, when I was in the field with, with United American years ago, I mean, I remember doing all my business on paper. Uh, you folks have a lot of bells and whistles over here that you can take advantage of. So make sure that you're taking advantage of that. I saw a report this past AEP, uh, all the deals that were entered on the IGO e app, you know what? Guess what? All of them were approved and ready to go. And then I saw another report, and I thought, oh, my Lord, this is really, I, I can see now how effective this is. There was a bunch of, I mean, I can't tell you how many applications were still pending. And it could be pending for the silliest things. So make your life easier. You're going to get paid faster. We pay weekly. So for all the business that you submit with United American, we're going to pay you weekly. So you submit it. The cutoff is noon. You get paid the following Friday. And that's nice to receive those, um, you know, the paycheck every single Friday, Friday, not to mention the fact that you're building your residual-based income. Now, folks, that concludes my presentation today. I will open it up for your questions. Uh, and then what I'm going to do with this group is I'm going to send you an email with the top 10 things you need to do to get going, and then I'm going to also attach a bunch of the documents to make your life easier uh, that you can use for your presentation, okay? So we'll open it up in just a minute. Um, I just want to tell you that if you're a newly appointed agent, you have a uh, one-time fast start incentive, and here's how it works. You will have to go out there and help three people with a Medigap plan or a combination thereof a Medigap and final expense. If you do that within the 60 days and they're placed, we're going to pay for a thousand exclusive direct lead mailers, or you can opt out for $250 gas card uh, with, uh, not gas card, an Amazon card, actually, we just changed that, or a subscription to Mikogo, where you can do some screen sharing. Uh, for, let me go back, for New York, it's all Medigap plans, okay? We don't, we don't include the final expense. And also, we don't include disability. Okay, we, if, you, if you're doing disability, it's not going to count toward this. Uh, and it also doesn't count for incentives. Now, for those of you who just got on here, you know, it's 2018. You want to take your UA business to the next level. You like what you heard. You're getting motivated. Well, guess what? We're not going to leave you in the dark. We're going to give you an incentive. Here's your incentive. If you go out and increase your new annualized premium by $10,000, it's not a lot, folks. It's two F plans, two HDF, maybe a final expense, critical illness, cancer, uh, or a juvenile whole life plan. You get $10,000 of annualized premium, new annualized premium. We're going to mail. We're going to place a thousand exclusive directly mailers for you. If you increase your new annualized premium by $20,000, we'll drop another $2,000. And all of this, folks goes to qualify for Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. There's two ways to qualify, obviously, uh, by the production of qualifications. I'll show you that in a minute. But also, brand new this year. You're absolutely going to love this. Man, I, I just told Chuck Mankamai, we spoil these agents, man. I don't know why we just keep giving stuff away. But the thing is, with this, all you have to do is sell 100 Medicare supplement plans, doesn't matter what they are. It used to be just HDF. So people were just kind of worried, saying, well, you know, I'm selling G plans now. I'm selling F plans, L plans, N plans. What about those plans? And it had to be HDF, not this year. This year, all you have to do is sell 100, a total of 100 Medigap plans, and you and, and a significant other is going to convention. And we're going to pay for everything. You know, we're going to pay for the flight. We're going to pay for the hotel. We're going to pay for room and board. And we're going to pay for adult beverages, I guess we'd, we'd say. And we're going to pay, of course, for just everything. And you know what? This is wonderful because some carriers say, well, you know, once you meet this, this annualized premium, you may get an invitation. And I thought, what is that? So what's the incentive? What incentive do I have to possibly get an invitation? I may get an invitation. Folks, you're going to go. And so, folks, get motivated. Let's do it. It's 2016. Let's do it. Um, let's go ahead and take your questions right now, uh, and then I'll come back and wrap it up over here. Let's see what kind of questions you have. Okay, let's go to John. If you sell... I provide the UA Medigap plan to a client. The client needs to sign up for the prescription plan under uh, Medicare.gov. 
uh, if you are not certified because precision portion is under the Medicare Advantage. Okay, so basically, John, if you are not certified to offer, to, to sell the Part D, which is the Part D of Medicare, which is a prescription drug plan, then yes, you will have to have the client sign up on their own by calling 1-800-MEDICARE or they can go on the website and they're pretty, you know, they're savvy on the website and go to medicare.gov and it takes 10 minutes for them to enroll. So make sure that you are aware of that. Um, for guarantee issue, what app do you use, John asked. Um, well, it's the same app. That's the wonderful thing about it, right? Now, if you're going to sign up disability, a couple of things on disability, meaning somebody under 65, don't call me for that. Call agency services. I don't handle disability. I never wrote disability. Um, I just think that, that the, the client is better off with an MA plan if they're under 65. However, once they turn 65, I think getting a regular Medigap plan is going to be in their best interest. And uh, so um, it's the same application. Doesn't matter if, you know, if it's guarantee issued, for example, somebody that's just turned 65 uh, during the Medigap open enrollment period, which is six months from the time they turn 65, six months they can apply guarantee issued, or perhaps maybe um, a Medicare Advantage beneficiary just got terminated from their MA carrier. Well, that creates what they call an SCP, a special election period, where they are, where they are guarantee issued. So it's the same application, and that's wonderful. And so make sure that you're going in there. It's, you know, it's like a quiz that you can cheat on because you're going to know those questions right there. Okay. Um, John says, this is my second webinar. Thanks. Fantastic. Thank you, John. Nice to have you here. Okay. If I mispronounce your name, I apologize. I'm terrible at names, but good at numbers. Not math, just good at memorizing numbers. <laughs> okay. This is from Vazavdata. That's Vasav Data Pater Vasav Data says I need the rules for disenrollment. If you had a slide to go over again, could you please email me that, please? Okay, so let me let me tell you where you can get these rules. Uh, there's a Medicare Buyer's Guide, a, a, a Medicare Buyer's Guide that you can order uh, when you're ordering your supplies. And actually, that's really not the correct name for it, but we call it the Medicare's Buyer Guide. And all that is is a document by the federal government titled Choosing a Medigap Plan. Choosing a Medigap Plan. In there, in the middle of the, in the, middle of the short, it's a short document, it's a small document, you're going to see the six or seven different periods where they are guaranteed. In addition to that, I'm going to, I'm going to, now I'm going to wow you. In addition to that, I'm going to attach, everybody here, I told you I was going to get you an email. Uh, I'm going to attach an article I wrote for the company summit that uh, clearly outlines the seven or eight times that it's guaranteed issued, that a Medicare Advantage person is guaranteed issued. So that way, just read that article. You can print it out. My idea behind that is for you to have, you know, a document that would help you in that scenario. All right, folks.